Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on the new news. I'm Andrea Lutz. A special recognition for a group in Anaconda. We've got that amazing story coming up, but first. Nearly 2,200 people are dying from COVID each day across the country. That's according to new numbers. It's the highest since early last year. Data showing most of the deaths are from unvaccinated in older populations. Oh, police in Billings continue to investigate a possible double murder. Police say that they believe a shooting happened inside of a vehicle leading to a crash that happened on the south side of town. There were visible bullet holes in the driver's side window of that wrecked pickup truck. We observed police collecting evidence samples too, which appear to be of blood. However, they're not looking for any suspects at this time. A police in Missoula have launched a homicide investigation after a woman was found stabbed to death. A man called 911 Monday to report that he was stabbed in the chest by his girlfriend. Police responded to that home to find a woman dead in the living room. The man was found in a bedroom also with several stab wounds. He is expected to recover. And police in Flathead County say drugs is what motivated a homicide that happened on Flathead Drive on January 17th. The victim is being identified as 42-year-old Luke Simpson of Columbia Falls. Well, video evidence of vehicles and witnesses have led to an arrest in that case. Unemployment in Montana just hit a record low. It's at 4.3% right now. Montana's total unemployment hit that record high, though, back in December. That includes payroll, agriculture, and self-employed workers, which grew by more than 3,000 in that month alone. Payroll unemployment also increased by 3,200 with strong job growth in retail. Officials say there's more people in Montana working than ever recorded before. And that's today's Leading Look. Winds are going to dominate the weather, especially across the eastern portions of Montana into the Dakotas for this afternoon. Some of the top wind gusts could be hitting 30, 40 miles per hour. But by the time we get into tomorrow and Friday, the winds will increase down these slopes of the Rockies and we're back into the usual windy periods from Cutbank into the Cody foothills. Here in the short term, we're also watching a cold front sinking down across the region, and that will be mainly tonight through tomorrow, and especially areas east of the Continental Divide, the north facing slopes of the mountains could pick up some additional snowfall and cause some travel concerns first thing tomorrow as the snow melts and then refreezes again. A lot of this will start to clear out as we get closer to the weekend. All the forecast details coming up. A small foundry here in Anaconda received a big award from the governor for doing their part in helping save one of Montana's precious natural resources. Governor Greg Gianforte presented AFCO with the Spirit of Montana Award for quickly building a part that helped repair a malfunctioning gate on the Hebgen Dam in November that caused a major drop in the Madison River. You know, you got the call at 3.30, shift goes off at 4, the shift stays, you work all night, and we save the Madison River. The general manager was happy to be recognized, but credits his employees. We have fantastic employees who have really hard work ethic, and uh, you know, when we have to roll up our sleeves, we know how to do it. He added it was an honor his foundry was able to help out during last fall's emergency. We're all Montanans here and, you know, we take pride in what we have here and, and so, you know, it really does mean a lot to us from that perspective. And while the workers here at AFCO will tell you they were just doing their job, the governor made a point to let them know that when the state needed them, they stepped up. Again, on behalf of a grateful state, thank you for your swift, successful response so that we could save the river. In Anaconda, John Amy, MTN News.